What is the relationship between umami and MSG? Now that you've learned about the fifth taste, umami, let's learn about MSG, which stands for monosodium glutamate. Let's recall the umami consists of three components, glutamate, inosylate, and guanylate. MSG contains three naturally occurring components, 78% glutamate, 12% sodium, and 10% water. Glutamate is an amino acid found naturally in food and is needed for many things in the body, from brain function to intestinal function. Sodium is an essential mineral and an electrolyte that our bodies uses every day. And water, well, you know, we all need water. So how is MSG really made? In the emperor's time, the Japanese had MSG when they made dashi, a broth, using glutamate and sodium from kombu seaweed, bonito fish, and water. The purpose was to increase umami in the soup. Nowadays, MSG is made by a natural fermentation process, a similar process in cheese production that uses fermentative microbes. For example, lactobacillus is a fermentative microbe that changes milk into cheese. Now for MSG, sugar from various sources such as sugar cane, Corn and tapioca is used for fermentation, which usually takes about two days. During this time, the fermentative microbes change complex sugars into glutamic acids. Then the glutamic acid is purified using filters. This mixture is then concentrated to form crystals. The crystals are the MSG crystals used for cooking. So as you can see, umami is MSG.